Hello everybody, welcome to Chalice Season 3, Blood Bowl 3. We've got Albachon in the blue with uh, Undead. Up against Benbow Baggins in the red with Orcs. Both teams are at 1700 TV. Um, maybe it's better to not have them in blue and red. Nope, no, nope, it's definitely better blue and red. Uh, sorry, Albachon, this is a horrendous colour scheme. Horrendous. <laughs> and this is boring, isn't it, from Ben Bobaggins? Not horrendous, but boring. There we go. Red and blue. This is the round of 16 Moomin Slayer. Um, I just did the uh, round of 16 preview with Dimmy G. It's on YouTube. The other day, because 64 people's a lot, isn't it? it didn't really, uh, doesn't really start until you get a bit later than 64. Could have done it at 32, but didn't feel up to it. And then, so just skip to the top 16. Dimmy G, the champ, everybody's favorite blood bowler. Like this, we've got a we've got a defensive big in there, very good. This seems a pretty nice orc team, doesn't it? Sneaky get DP. There is a sneaky get DP zombie, but it's exposed. Honestly, I'd, I'd rather expose, like, <coughs> God Mighty Blow White. <laughs> Only 12 players for the undead. 13 for the orcs. I think the orcs are a big favourite here, really. On teams. Oh, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good mummy, though. Defensive, blodge guard, stand firm. That is like ultimate mummy, isn't it? Really, really nice mummy. But the ghouls aren't exciting. And if you can knock over that mummy and foul it, you're good. The chair guy, yeah, that's the one. And he's got a good guy to do it, right? Jugs, tackle, pro. Not dauntless though. So, but you know, you, you need to, you need to be using his defensive. So if you can just clear everyone around him, you can still crack him. You can still crack this one as well, can't you? So uh, it looks like a bit of a mistake here, in my opinion, from Benbow Baggins. I would definitely be setting up to blitz this guy and foul him. So I don't like this guy over here. This guy, you know, should be here. Should be putting your blitzer over there. Blitz him, foul him, take him out. I mean, I guess he could run across and foul him, maybe, but... Really nice blitzer, isn't he? Movement 8, hatch 2+. plus. Beautiful. Beautiful cores. The beautiful cores. Pro did nothing. But he was able to greed freely with it, wasn't he? Which is nice. Nice aspect to the skill that these days. Doesn't follow, so only a 2D here unless he brings in another player. Surely he will, right? This guy can just go up there. One, two, three, four, five, and make that a 3D. But who's he blitzing? I guess he's going to blitz the ghoul there. One, two, three, four, and then fifth one hitting him. But then why not just put him on the LOS and then you get one, two, three, four, and then go back a little bit? Didn't 3D. Should have 3D'd, I think. And you know, this could have all been one tighter, right? And then that would have been a 3D. So it doesn't even blitz. In that case, I guess if it was on a push, he would have blitzed somebody. But hmm. Not the best turn. Yeah. 
this mummy could blitz and then like GFI in and then you could three assist foul it which would be pretty good that's all the game that is nowadays <laughs> how many uh, how many assists can you get on your massive foul with your sneaky get dirty player brilliant okay that's good because then that had been that had been a pow you just pushed him up there and uh, freed up all three that had been a really good pow but yeah, even on the push he frees these two up so nice blitz from Albichon that's a much better positional blitz than my uh, than my gang foul blitz but there's a lot to be said for the gang foul blitz. <laughs> the game has just literally devolved into who can you foul with sneaky get DP with as many foul with as many assists as possible every single turn. It's all the game is. <laughs> Woo! Flip me, guys. All of your guard and block and defensive and stand firm is there just to get more gang fouls with sneaky get dirty player. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And obviously now he'll def des desperately want to set up. Hits on the mummies, but he just it's really it's really hard to hit this strength five blood mummy, isn't it? Really hard. It's so hard, it's so hard. DP on your woody line. It's glorious, isn't it? Randoms are where it's at for linos. <laughs> it was brilliant. My, uh, my, what's it called? The ghoul on my undead team where it, like, it took him about, I think, two games. It took him two games to get sneaky to get dirty play. <laughs> Pretty amazing. Hey, so yeah, can't can't fight the mummies, but but they only based up one guy, right? So it, it's tough. It's tough for. Oh wow, he should have dodged, right? There's no no reason to give up a mighty blow hit there. Should have just taken the dodge, dodge or uphill, and or just because they're both stand firm, so just dodge. Oh, instead you got cast. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> it was a nine on the armor, so uh, so a failed dodge would have been fine. Well, it's a burden being right all the time. What can I say? <laughs> oh, what can I say? It's a hard life being the best at blood ball. You gotta dodge that. You just, you just, you just can't give up mighty blow hits. Right? It's not. It's not doing anything. Being there, taking that action isn't achieving anything. Stopping that mummy moving isn't doing anything. Different if it's you know turn six or seven in the half, when keeping him away. 
from your rest of your team, you know, keeping out of position, something like this. There's, there's times, obviously, you want to take a mighty blow hit. But that was not one of them. And th and that's why, you know, Albichon should have been trying to get them into contact with more, right, to, f to force more dodges or to generate hits. Because, obviously, if... So th th there were two mummies in contact with one Black Orc, right? Uh, not big and now. Yeah, it's a big and now, isn't it? So they were, they were two in contact with one big un, So he just dodges away. But if those two were in contact with two big uns, then he can't dodge them both away, right? He only dodges the first one away and they get to hit the second one. So he actually shouldn't have got a hit because he only based one. But because he based, you know, if he'd based two, he, he should have based two to get a hit. But instead, he was just allowed to get a hit anyway. And, uh, yeah. Oh my god. Dead, dead, dead. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you've got to up all this. It's block guard stand firm. Oh my god, he's got a niggle though. He's got a plus two niggles. And if he doesn't apo it. I think he did apo it. But maybe he shouldn't have because he's got a plus two niggle. So that makes the AA did apo it. But he's got the plus two, right? Which makes the apo worse on it. Oof. Oof. Well, I mean, the orcs were better, but now, now the undead are better after after casting <laughs> after casting two biggins and the apple being gone. Um, now the undead are the better team, I think. But now he's done goofed in that he can actually hit this. Uh, he can actually get this guy hit right. He's punch him. He's got two assists, so he can he can fully just blitz this. Uh, he can fully blitz this guy. Oh, he hasn't got he hasn't got strength four, has he? <laughs> but if he had strength four, but he's only got two biggins left. <laughs> oh, so he can block this one and blitz this one, and then he can hit him. But he's got him round the back. It's a bit tricky, isn't it? It's actually a little bit tricky. Maybe he shouldn't fight. Maybe he should just 1D, but he's a blodger. So you can only really hit him with this guy. And he's only strength 3, so you can only 1D him, which seems rubbish. So maybe you run back, blitz this guy. You know, you've got to start removing players at the end of the day. You've lost two... You've lost two big ones. You've got to... You've got to do something. To uh, stem the bleeding. Might pull this guy back. How do you mark the zombie in Blitz with 2D, Christopher B? You can't. There was no way to, there was no way to blitz the mummy with 2D. So what he could have done was, I, I liked, honestly, I like pulling this guy back and blitzing him with Mighty Blow Tackle. But, you know, removed a zombie, which is okay. Oh, Dub Skulls. Maybe you could have moved the ball first. Put guard on. Well, Christopher B, let me show you this, uh, this little known skill defensive ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's the fuck he's a fucking good mummy he's a fucking good mummy blodge firm defensive like what the hell man that is a fucking monster mummy that is a fucking monster mummy <laughs> Absolute fucking monster. Now, of course, <laughs> he's got his own problem in that this is defensive here, so he can't hit this. He can't hit this uh, big and back, but he can, like, blitz this guy and then block him, right? So, it's okay. Or I guess he could have blitzed this one. And then blocked him. 
with an assist, so he could have still hit him. Do you have the sneaky get DP here? Here. I like this now. I like that they're both next to each other, right? With a defensive guy, with the other one. Really hard to hit either of them. They're facing lots of guys. They can't just dodge away. So they've got to try and find a way to hit them. Which is not easy. So this is looking a lot stronger now for the uh, undeads. I think he just blitzed this guy and then gang fouled him. Kind of vaguely get to stand in front of the ball as well and protect your mummies while getting a big gang foul in. Seems good to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is weird, isn't it? Weird lack of blood ghouls. I guess st the stun means that he's not going to try for the foul. But maybe he should have. Well, if you're going to foul anyway, mate, you could have had another assist. Imagine not maxing assists. Outrageous. Like, also, this guy here, I mean, okay, he probably thinks he's a sexy boy, this blitzer. White blitzer. But I'd rather he was blitzed than a sneaky, get dirty player. <laughs> oh, the game's so stupid nowadays. <laughs> I don't really like just hanging out the, the defenseless ghoul here either. I mean, he's got to hit him eventually, right? He's still got plenty of time, still only turn four. He's got a movement eight carrier. So... Really, the Orcs do just want to try and, you know, get some damage going, and that's a good way to do it, by blitzing back there. DP sneaky git is not needed. It's still, he's still the best player on the pitch. <laughs> okay, no, may maybe this mummy's the best player on the pitch. Maybe the mummy's the best, and this move eight guy's the second best, and then this begins the third best, and then fourth best is is this. <laughs> Is this sneaky get dirty player? And fifth best is this sneaky get dirty player. <laughs> How stupid is that? <laughs> How fucking stupid is that that the fourth and fifth best player? Yeah, that's better than a fucking five skill bl orc blitzer. Or a fucking five skill white. Insane. Absolutely insane. The game that we play these days. So he's running back. So yeah, we've got to blitz this guy. Surely. Just casual uphill. Why not? Not going to blitz this guy then. Could have powered him. Maybe killed him. Didn't bother. <laughs> Doesn't move this guy instead. Or this guy. So he freed up a guy to move. Didn't move either of the two remaining players. Did a blockless block. Oof. Not the best.
Yes. Yeah, maybe he is tilted. I mean, he has had two, two big ones die in the first three turns. <laughs> Which isn't a great start, is it? Like from a game where it looked like you were the favourite to now suddenly have lost two big players and you've got to beat this fucking god. You've got to beat the god, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh look, the fuck you gave up pointlessly is... <laughs> that, that guy's got KO'd. Instead of blitzing this guy and KO'ing him yourself, you just got blocked by him and got KO'd yourself, so... He's made some poor decisions. And he's had some poor dice. And, uh, well there you go, he rolled a double four on the, on the arm, on the injury. The double six on the armor was fine. But the double four on the injury got him. And now the drive is in absolute tatters for the Orcs. Down four players. Now, you know, like, he, he, he didn't dodge that guy out, right? He didn't dodge out this guy. And then it just all kind of snowballed from there. But, um, yeah, you can't blame him being tilted now. <laughs> Wait, this guy, this guy got surfed. Did he? I confess I wasn't watching. So he's down to six players. One, two, three, four, five, six players. He's up there. And prone. So he's got four standing players on turn five of your drive. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's insane, yeah. It was bad enough being down the two big ones, but now, yeah, three players out of that turn, it's... I mean, it's not over. Don't say it's over. But... Poor. It's a bit rowdy. Poor. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what you do here. <laughs> throw it <laughs> throw it up here and hope that he hasn't got time to go and get it and score himself right hello Keith by the way that could have been an idea honestly just run up here and like fucking lob it up there and then hope he hasn't got time to run back pick up the ball get the ball to somebody else and score right in four turns but now You've still got, like, you've kept the ball close to your end zone, right? Like, you could have just got the ball further away from your end zone. It was probably the best you could do. As fucking terrible as it is. <laughs> as absolutely terrible as it is. That was maybe the, uh, the least losing play. I mean, I don't think there's a winning play. That was maybe the least losing play. <laughs> This is praying for a six, but he's he's got the two dodges. He's protected the ball, maybe. I mean, only maybe, right? He's just an instant 2D, 2D, 2D on the ball. So, like, it's... It's an incredibly easy 2D on the ball. Almost automatic. Not instant. Um, you know, Dimmy would... Uh, would admonish me for saying in for instant, but it's uh, nearly instant. He can even hit with a frenzy, right? He can even cancel these two and then blitz in with a frenzy. This is horrific. And you can even push him out the back way as well. This is even better, isn't it? That's even better, having the guard there to do that. This is a very greedy taking the push. Very greedy. Like, this is obviously way better to, to pop it there than popping it there. But obviously, you're only 55% and knock him down. I guess, no, you've got the wrestle, haven't you? So you're 75. Okay, it's not, it's not so greedy. It's still pretty greedy. So he goes there. He goes... There. 
Or maybe he's just going to pick up with the rookie, yeah. So he can go there and base him. And then he can go and pick it up. Free roll. No re roll here. Doesn't need it. Might as well do the dodge, yep. Yeah. Sorted. See, this was the hoping for a six player, right? Like this was the praying for a six player. This was just praying that all of this didn't work. That was that was that was all Ben Baggins was doing last turn. Whereas by actively <laughs> hiking it up the field, <laughs> you give him more work to do. Whereas this was just you know almost auto losing, just hoping that he rolled shit, which he didn't. Maybe the super, uh, the super orc can do things. Maybe you start off with a four plus three plus to get the assist. One, two, three, four, five, and then he three twos to blitz. Now he's just gonna one d. Problem is, if you re-roll this. Shouldn't you have gone for the 4-3 to make it two dice? And you probably should have done as well, because at least if you knock the ball over this turn, it gets a bit harder for him. I mean, it could, but it gives you a chance, right, Raven? My way gives you a lot more of a chance than anyone else. And it doesn't really more easily wildly inaccurate on Orcs. It's wildly inaccurate on everybody, doesn't it? It's only if you like. It's only uh, you know. It's only if you've got like modifiers. Isn't it? Oh. Oof! Oh, beautiful pow! Oh no, it's not. It's he's dodge. <laughs> Disregard, <laughs> errata, errata. <laughs> Honestly, I thought he was hitting the white that had dodge anyway. So that's, I was a rattering because he was hitting the white. Because I realised the white had dodge. I didn't even realise he was hitting the cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you might as well. You might as well. Like, it gave you a chance. It gave him more chance than, than what he went for. Is the thing, right? And all you can do is give yourself the best chance. No matter how unlikely it is. You have to give yourself the best chance you can. You actually don't want to block yet, right? You want to block with him first. Yep, so you didn't get in the way of your own guy. Very nice. And now this gives you a better block as well by blocking him first. Now he gets to hit him, which is a better knockdown. So a very good play from Albertron, I would say. Overall, did some nice things to try and like chain his guys free and what have you. And yeah, probably just go for the... A dumb foul off this guy. The, the only problem is you've only got 11 players and you've uh, you've had one sent off, so you capped it at 11 for the rest of the match, but you obviously are about to win the half 1-0 up. Um, I don't know. I wouldn't make this foul, but I can understand people wanting to, right? There's no apple. It's a movement 8, edge 4. It's a pretty good player to get, but chances are you get sent off for a stun or a KO, and it's just not very good, is it? Yeah, it's fair enough. I'd be confident in myself winning, and I wouldn't want to uh, give myself the opponent the out of me starting the second half of ten players. Doesn't mean it's right, though, does it? Who knows what's right? Who knows what's right? Who knows that knows?
Ja. It's interesting, isn't it? Because obviously, like, you know, the basic concepts of stuff like, you know, uh, poker and that is be more conservative when you've got a lead. Right, not even just poker. I said poker because it's like, you know, poker's a bit like, a bit like uh, Blood Bowl, isn't it? But like all things, all sports and everything is be more conservative when you're ahead, right? Not, you know, I guess poker's kind of gambling and this is dice, isn't it? I guess that's it. So, um, so, you know, all kind of, but it's not just, it's not just gambling, is it? It's like football as well, right? All sports, you know, if you're a, if you're ahead, like, you know, people, people try and grind out the clock and stuff, don't they? People are more conservative when ahead. Um, but I guess especially so with gambling. So, yeah, exactly, Christopher B. So the fact that you're already in like a super dominant position here. Would, uh, would make me not want to do it as much. But then, by doing that, by taking those less risks, you do get less... Uh, you do get less payoff, don't you? So it's not um, it's not necessarily correct to always play safer because obviously you know that foul could have cast him, couldn't it? And then so it's it's interesting. Yes, yes, it does have to be weighted against halfway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you've got to you've got to analyze your match equity essentially right and then and then base your decisions off of that off of your perceived you have you have to assess oh hey you have to assess the oh my god he rolled the pow <laughs> fucking yes <laughs> what a legend what a legend no re-rolls no problem let's fucking go <laughs> could he have played safer there? Yes, he chose to go for this block when he could have used this uh, ghoul to run around and make it a bit harder. Amazing. Amazing heroics from the orc. It's not really doing a whole lot right. It's still eight times out of nine, more or less. But uh, it was still cool. But yeah, that's it. You, you've got to assess. You've got to make an assess. You've got to assess the equity, and then you know make your plays factoring in your equity assessment. Now you could just assess your equity wrong and stuff, and you could choose deliberately suboptimal lines that you're more comfortable with. Is is another thing as well, isn't it? For instance, a lot of people say you should always, if you could always get your money in pre-flop <laughs> with aces, you would. However, if it was, you know, the World Series of Poker on the on the bubble, <laughs> you probably wouldn't want to, right? <laughs> because at that point in time, you've got a hell of a lot to lose, and you'd just want to, uh, you'd just want to get in the money and stuff. So. Yes, over the long term, it will average, you know, returns. It is plus EV to get all of your money in pre-flop with aces every time. But, situationally, people won't always want to. You just dodge with him. Oh, to run around and hit from the back. That's pretty nice. But it does run the risk of the ghoul catching it here. Doesn't catch it. And now we have the... Uh, Look at this, we've got this for the bubble box. Beautiful. So he slightly misplayed here, right? These two could have also come up for a more for more bubble box. So if he failed to pick up. Oh no, it doesn't matter because he'd have failed to pick up, so the bubble box didn't matter. Disregard, disregard. Errata, errata, errata. <laughs> he just moved that guy into that square for no reason. Errata. So 
this guy does not come back. Which is the big one that you didn't want to come back, right? The tackler for your ghouls. So now you're very happy here as the as the undead. For a ten ten player still, because you did have did have thirteen. Uh, ten versus eleven, so he's one player up. Could have easily been one player down. <laughs> no, it could have easily been equal players if he had uh, made that foul. Right? <laughs> I was not shitting wrong with Dr. Vasco. Look, I, I realised... It was like the three-second rule, right? I realised I was wrong, so I, I wasn't wrong. It's quite simple. Quite simple. As long as I instantly realise I'm wrong, I'm never wrong. Errata, errata. <laughs> it's the free pass that we need. Yeah, player up and about to smash with three mighty blows and a sneaky kit to it. No, he doesn't have the sneaky kit to it, player anymore. He's gone. But he's, he is about to smash with mighty blow. It's times three, right? F times four, so we get a mighty blow blitz as well. Very powerful. Exactly, Christopher B. Exactly. I think I'd blitz this rookie, honestly, just to. Like, you know, even though obviously your strength 5 would get two dice against a big one. Just the fact he hasn't got block, right? And you're already players up. I think I would just, uh... I think I would just blitz this guy just for more... More chance of more players up. <laughs> Unless it's soup. <laughs> just lick it up. Some might say that shit. <laughs> because it is. <laughs> I really hate this. I really hate this. I really hate this. Now he's exposed, right? You've actually given him the only way to deal with this guy. You've actually just handed him the only way to deal with your god tier player is to fucking run him into a big fucking orc gangbang, multiple two dice against him, with a sneaky get dirty player hovering. Garbage. Fucking garbage, that was. Just my opinion. <laughs> my correct opinion <laughs> and now so now he's having to you know support him with everything else when he could have just blocked off the LOS with him you know these two could have both just gone on the LOS right both three diced both being quite happy and this guy could have blitzed him and everything would have been fine fine and dandy Who's to say what's right and wrong? Is it good or bad? Is it right or wrong? Nobody knows. <laughs> Who can say? Sorry, we should, we should say that everybody's fantastic and it's totally valid to play the game any way you want, but it's wrong, isn't it? It's not true. Not true. Some people are better than others. <laughs> that blood bowl. <laughs> well, at everything, some people are better than others. That is simply not true. The data does not support your assertion.
but these days every opinion is valid nothing's right or wrong <laughs> all media is childlike for some reason it's really weird isn't it oh man don't stand firm there, right? He should have. He should have not stood firm. Should have not stood firm because he's a fuck. He's got a fucking. He, he's got a fucking. He shouldn't have even hit him probably because he's got a fucking. Uh, what's this called? Defensive guy here. If he hadn't stood firm, he's here or here, and he gets to smash the uh, sneaky get on two dice. Safe space for shit opinions. Yeah, the whole world is a safe space. For shit opinions, for some reason. You know, random fella on the internet who's done his own research off Wikipedia is, uh, <laughs> you know, has no reason <laughs> to listen to somebody with decades of experience and, you know, PhDs and everything. It's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, didn't get him. But now he can't hit, right? Oh, I guess he can, yeah. He can put a player here and then he can hit. Seven, five, six, seven versus three, four, five, six. But you're getting hit back again, right? I really like not standing firm. It's going to be amazing, guys. Hello, Steve. We do live in a society. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird, isn't it? It is weird. How like kind of like mass delusion of society these days is kind of weird. I don't understand it. I'm kind of happy to be old, to be honest. <laughs> in my day, little kids had RoboCop toys. Little kids watched 18 rated movies and had Robocop toys. Whereas now, grown ups watch little kids movies and have Funko Pops. Like, what the fuck's going on? It's, it's weird, isn't it? It's just fucking weird, man. I don't. I don't fucking get it. I so fucking don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, I mean, can't understand, no. I guess it's the internet, isn't it? And like... But then, you know, the funny thing is, the funny thing is, is that every every generation that's ever existed, because you can, like, see things, like, you know, written in 1700 and stuff, like, saying, oh, my God, women are harlots these days and all this kind of stuff. Every generation thinks the generation, like, after them is fucking terrible and stuff. But also, <laughs> it is weird now. Like, this is weird. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with Harlots, is there? But this time, we really are the correct generation. Yeah, right? Like, it seems like the internet has caused, like, mega brain rot. <laughs> hey, there we go. And now he doesn't stand firm, so there's less assists. No, he does stand firm. You gotta foul him, mate, even with your fucking block guard. Oh, there's a guy here. Who's, what's this guy? Oh, Glyman. Stand up and get him fucking fouled. One, two, three, four, five. Five assists and two defensive. So plus three. Plus three assist fouls. No, I should have fouled this guy. I guess he gets four assists, doesn't he? Whereas he only got three. Hmm. Devolution. <laughs> yeah, and people love to say that it's like, uh, it's like, what's it? What's that movie called? Idiocracy. But it kind of is a little bit. It does like, you know, and I know everyone said that. Again, every single generation in history has said that. But, 
I guess like other generations had things like TV and stuff, didn't they? Which that maybe was a real thing, right? Maybe the TV, maybe TV made people worse. Maybe they were right. Maybe the maybe the people before TV were right, and TV made people worse. And maybe the people before internet were. I mean, I I kind of grew up with the internet. Anyway, right, just. I was just on the edge. I was just on the edge of a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, man. I want to fucking go out and get one. Believe me. <laughs> the, only pro the only problem is a 99 with a flake probably costs about 42 fucking quid nowadays, doesn't it? <laughs> fucking us. Glad I don't have kids. Jesus Christ. Probably costs... <laughs> <laughs> you can buy Pal World or you can have a fucking flake. <laughs> no, yeah, they did. They were Arvidius, yeah. Riv Arvidius? Rividius, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they did. I mean, they were. That's what I was saying. Like, they have done every, every generation ever in history has done that. But... The point is, maybe the people who said TV was bad were right, right? Because, and maybe the people who said the internet's bad is right. Like, you know, maybe. Like, just because people said it every time, it doesn't mean that they were always wrong, does it? <laughs> because there's never been the internet before. But, like, industrialization and uh, TV were, like... Huge things, weren't they? Like they were seismic changes, whereas before then it was just old people shaking their fists at clouds. <laughs> this was just unnecessary, wasn't it? This guy could have been tucked in one. Um, it probably doesn't make any difference, but I just think it's better to have had him tucked in one. Better practice to have him tucked in one. But I mean, maybe this gets him in scoring range. One, two, three, four, no, it doesn't. So, we tucked in one. Because this guy can maybe reach, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he can, he can hit him, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, GA5. So, he, he could 1D him. Whereas if he's back here, it's just a lot harder. He doesn't even need a jump, does he? He could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gf double GFI. He doesn't even have to jump. So he gets the one D hit and gets the power. And there you go. Look, he could have been. He could have been here. Jimmy's always right. Brilliant. Well done, Jim. Thank you, Jim. You're the best. Yeah, I know. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, the printing press, that's a good one, Arvidius. Arv I don't know why I'm calling you Arvidius instead of Rividius. Yeah, it is following, the, exactly, exactly, Rutherford, right? It is following the same pattern. But, it doesn't mean it's wrong, does it? It doesn't mean that, just because it's been wrong every other time, it doesn't mean that it's wrong this time. <laughs> What's the the Simpson thing in it where they're like, it's not the other generation. I'm not like all the previous generations. Maybe it's the children that are wrong. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and it's it's weird though. It is weird. Be hey, dead, dead, dead. <laughs> For sure, it is this time. Yeah. <laughs> You know, 3,000 years of history say that every generation does it, but this time, maybe it really is them. <laughs> it is weird. What I think's funny is when people, like, you know, say about, you know, like, the music and stuff and, like, how, how you've got, like kind of slutty things, you know, like, what's it called, WAP and all that, and it's like, come on, it wasn't exactly, 
you know what I mean? They weren't exactly everybody was fucking. I don't know what's the word. Like innocent, I guess it's not like everybody was like innocent when we were fucking kids, was it? I mean, like, come on, come on, man. But it is like the internet is weird, right? Mobiles and the internet is weird. Like the internet is pretty fucking weird when you think about it. Like there's never been a time in history when every single six-year-old on the planet can access <laughs> ridiculously hardcore porn <laughs> all the time <laughs> in half a second. Like that's kind of that's kind of fucked up. Like, smartphones are pretty fucked. TPH. Hey! <laughs> Dr. Mavosko. <laughs> had to find a, had to find a jazz mag in a fucking forest, didn't you? <laughs> That's what you had to do. <laughs> Yeah, the Out Here Brothers, yeah. I enjoy the Out Here Brothers. <laughs> yeah, the Sunday spot, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> like, that is kind of crazy, isn't it? There's a time. There's a, I mean, look at Channel 5, right? When Channel 5 came out and they had that fucking, all that fucking garbage, fucking softcore shite. And people would be like, Fua. Like, that's how they fucking sold and, like, made money, wasn't it? Whereas now... You just get any insane shit you want instantly from like being six. I don't know what age people get smartphones, but uh, I've got some relation who got one when he was six. Most parents report they, they would wait until their child is 10 or over before buying their first phone. So there you go. Yeah, seven, there you go. It's fucked. I mean, that is fucked, isn't it? That is pretty fucked. It's hard to argue that that isn't fucked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And like no generation's ever had anything like that, right? <laughs> God, spell keep his jelly, you fucked up. I mean, the Romans got up to some nonsense, didn't they? But at least that was only the rich people. <laughs> that's instantly what I thought of when, when at the mention of gay bestiality foot fetish, it's like, well, that's probably what fucking a few Roman emperors were up to, wasn't it? But now every, every seven-year-old on the planet can, uh, can see it in great detail. This is over, isn't it? This is hence the rambling for uh, a long time. <laughs> it's completely over. <laughs> the orcs are. Oh shit! It's not over. Don't say it's over. Oh my goodness! <laughs> 
Well, either way, this orc is away. So, see, now, now, this, should you foul him or not because you're miles ahead, suddenly looks like, yeah, may maybe fouling him was the right answer because uh, <laughs> because now he's going to fuck off down here <laughs> and take it over time. Crazy. Absolutely fucking crazy. Even get to, like, blitz somebody and screen him, even. And if he gets back all the KOs, he's still got 10 players for overtime. It's fucking not even over. And if he wins the toss in overtime, he can score with a movement 8, edge 4 guy, and then get to, get to kicks, maybe. Oh, he's instantly rolled a 1. That wasn't a good play. Oh! We've got the bug where he's re-rolled it so he's disappeared. <laughs> hey, he's reappeared. <laughs> yep. Well done. Well done, Cyanide. <laughs> Fucking nightcrawler there. Hello. I don't know whether to say MC Cruel still, Martin Cruel, Cruel, Martin, whatever your name is. Hello. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the running orc. What a dance. What a dance move. I mean, he's won this game by himself, maybe this orc. Maybe, maybe won it, right? Maybe get to overtime. Looks like it's going to be 1 1 at the half. Uh, one one at full time, and then he's gonna have. So he should score on like turn fifteen, right? He misplayed this a bit. I would have blitzed this zombie off, and then sort of had two players back here to try and deal with a with a ghouls, right? So you get another turn of stall. You want to score on turn fifteen to give yourself two KO rolls, um, because there's a lot of KOs here. <laughs> okay, Martin. <laughs> I can't remember my, uh, my, uh, my, what's it called? Theresa Mim voice, or I could have done it. Oh my god, another cast! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Absolutely fucking body. And that was his best player as well. Oh, God. Don't say it's over, but it's uh, pretty much over. Even if he scores here. But he might get it to kicks, right? He, if he scores here, he can get it to kicks. And then he can uh, lose in the next round because he's got no fucking players left. <laughs> At this point, I just wouldn't even score. I'd just let the guy have the win. Fuck this. Like, your team's absolutely destroyed, isn't it? Your team is in fucking tatters at this point. Gets the tutty. So we might get a two-turner from Albichon. You might get a two-turner versus six players. I wonder if he's going to try and just, you know, run around and there uh, with, because uh, he's got a, he's got a guarder. It's the guard one could go one, two, three, four, five, six, 
And then he could, uh, this one, move seven. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So he could jam in the guard and then 2D him with Mighty Blow. I'd, 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 be, I'd consider that. On a, well, in fact, I wouldn't consider it. I'd do it. I'd do it because that gives you, that gets him down. And even if he doesn't get him down, he gets sandwiched onto this, uh, onto this mummy. Pretty hard it sandwiches him onto this mummy, and then it gives you a push up the side. So yeah, I'd, I'd definitely go all into blitzing this guy with mighty blow. Oh, touchback, huge. Probably give the ball to him now then. Yeah. Injured. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolute Dyson. Jesus fucking wept. Yeah. <laughs> Undead in shambles as, <laughs> as they go over the cap. <laughs> oh, it's actually great. Maybe should have uh, blitzed this guy, right? To then uh, get this guy through here. Base him or something. I guess he can come there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this guy can go there. Oh dear. Dude, if you're gonna do that, you have to move this guy first. <laughs> you have to get your guy into range who's movement fucking seven before you do a GFI. Could he not stand here? No, I guess he couldn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just move that guy first, and yeah, I'm gonna move that guy first. Maybe should have blitzed this one to uh, make it easy to tag him. This guy didn't move. Couldn't really go anywhere, but still should have moved him up seven, right? Should have just moved him up seven. Oh, Magnus the Pink. Yeah, this is. I mean, this is an absolute disaster for the Orcs, isn't it? It is a bit of a comedy maker at this point. But you know, there's been there's been a bunch of mighty blow hits on them, but um, but yeah, it's still, it's still uh, it's still a Dyson. So you dodge double GFI with this guy. Oh, what about this one? One, two. Okay, he's just gonna go. Okay, can just double GFI to 1D. Gets them both down. Rerolls into a POW, which pushes him back at least, right? So now he has to uh, make a GFI without a reroll to score. Unless... He can uh, run all the way around and then chain him forward. Which that dodge basically stops. Without that dodge, right, this guy could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it would have been eight. So if this guy was if this guy was a bit closer, he could have run round the back and pushed him to there, and then he could have blocked and chained him forward. But um without that he's just gonna have to surf him. <laughs> Kill him as well. Not dead. All right, two plus to score and win. Oh, he's got it. 
There is technically the chance of a one turn for the Orcs or a Riot. But at this point, do they even want to score? <laughs> Six players left. I know I wouldn't want to. <laughs> oh, and they killed somebody, so they even got they even got a thirteenth player because they killed a player. Oh my god! Absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. You, you could set up for the riot. He's really bothering. Could also set up for the quick snap one turn, couldn't he? He doesn't get a quick snap one turn, and he doesn't get a riot. He might make some hits, right? It doesn't really matter. It's interesting, some people bitch and moan about people making hits, but at the end of the day, you're either blocking him and it's unfair, you know, pointlessly blocking him and it's unfair for his next game, or you're not pointlessly blocking him and it's unfair for all of his opponents, so... It doesn't really matter, does it? doesn't really matter what you do. I just I just end the turn because it's wasting time. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Look, that guy's just been cast there. Okay, he regen, but like you know, if he was if he was missed next game, we'd be like, blah, 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 blah. he just blocked and the game was over. And why did he block? He had nothing. He was deleting the team. He didn't need to do. It. Of course, people have done that. I'm not saying that Albertron would have done there, but you know, people have done this. The 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 summary page never turns up now. By the way, literally never turns up. It just fucking runs forever. Um, and it's such a ball ache to look at the summary page that doesn't really tell us anything. Um, that what's the point? Albachon won two one. Um, yeah, congratulations. Yeah, there's so many. There's actually so many bugs that have come in this season. Like it's crazy. The disappearing players. The intercept bug is back. There's uh, a jump up. You can't you can't stand up a player who has jump up. They just literally cannot stand up. They, if if they're based, if they're based, they cannot stand up. They can only try to block and stuff. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. A whole a whole slew of bugs have come in. But anyway, um, yeah, the disappearing player is is outrageous. Right. Um, but there you go. Anyway, that was the result. You can't say any summary, but all the summaries doesn't really matter anyway. It's not very exciting, is it? Um, right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.